What you guys got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called Smart HDD, which is Smart Hard Drive Device. Uh, basically, it's a rogue and it's a fake uh, program. And what you're going to see here is uh, a fake scan going on and uh, coming up with loads of critical errors and stuff like that, trying to make you purchase the product. Now, you can go to the customer support part here, and uh, what's going to happen is it will try and coach you into paying for it, like so. Now, it's all fake, so don't be paying for any of this sort of stuff. Um, again, it, what will happen is sometimes this hides your programs as well, and uh, we're going to show you some ways of getting around this. Okay, So, again, once you do a smart repair, what it tries to do is your black prompt box will pop up. It activates the product for you anyway, and gives you uh, an actual key. So I'll try. To, I'll show you the key that you can actually use here. So you want to use any at any uh, email dot com or something like that, and uh, the registry key will be this one on the screen. But as I said, this one does actually register it for you for free, and then hides all your files. It hasn't happened to me yet, but this is the registry key if you want to do it. Now the best way to remove these are in safe mode with networking and uh, if you reboot the system into safe mode with networking and remove it there it's going to be a lot easier. The instructions are on the screen right now. Now also I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the actual sample because without those guys I can't make these videos for you. I got the sample from them so I'm going to show you how to remove it right now. just want to quickly uh, look at the uh, icon on the screen there and there you can see it's in programs data so there's the actual name of the executable file that this rogue is running on so let me just move this to the side here and we can see where that actually lives it's in the C root directory and programs data now you may need to unhide these files to see them okay I've already done mine but you will need to unhide those like so and you will see this folder then and inside here you'll see a load of files and this is the actual rogue here okay so let's uh, go about removing it it's pretty straightforward so I'm going to go into the start or the all button here I'm going to type CMD and run this as administrator like so now this is important to make sure you run it as administrator as you aren't going to do it. So what I want to do here is put task list up here so you can see the actual tasks that are running on this system. And what we're looking for is the uh, the rogue itself. So let me just come down here and try to find that. I think it's this one here. And this one looks the uh, culprit 3064 so what you want to do here if I want to see what's happening with this type of uh, executable file what's going on we can type netstat space dash a space dash uh, n space dash o space dash b and this is going to show me the, all the executable files and what it's doing and where it's going on the internet and where, whether it's going out and what PID or PID number it's using okay and there you can see here there's a uh, one there you won't have to worry about all this sort of stuff I just wanted to show you roughly what's going on with this system and uh, let me try and find it just quickly okay so there you can see the actual IP addresses that it's actually connecting to and it's going out okay and there's the actual port number and there's the actual PID number so 3064 so we can kill this process off now I just wanted to show this part really it just gives you an idea of how to uh, find out what's going on on your system okay let's move on Let's clear the screen uh, before I do that. Let me just get that number again. I forgot what it was. So it's 3064. So I'm going to type CLS to clear the screen. I'm going to use task kill here. I'm going to do 3064. That's the actual PID number 
Okay, so I'm going to force this and then kill this off. So we put task kill, and it would help if I did put the actual uh, extra L on there. Missed that one, sorry about that. This keyboard sucks. But there we go. So basically that's that's the command we're going to use. Push enter, and that should kill that process off. Now from there, we want to actually clear up the system. So I'm just going to remove any remnants of this stuff from the system. So the icons on the desktop there. Go to the start button. There's one here. We want to remove this from the list. Also we want to go to computer C drive in the program data file uh, folder there. We want to remove this stuff here. I'm going to delete all these like so. I'm going to go back here to the C drive again. Go into users and then the actual account and then app data local and then temp make sure you remove anything in here just to make sure okay the next area we want to go is the roaming folder go into Microsoft there Windows and start menu programs and there's a folder here with two files in it. I'm going to remove those like so. Next thing you want to do is come down to the uh, start or the all button there. Type regedit. Open that up. Make sure there's nothing in the uh, RUM box there. And you can do that by H key local user. And then come down to software. Then Microsoft, then Windows, then current version, and then you want to make sure when you click on run, this one here, there's nothing inside here, okay? Once you've done that, pretty much you should be uh, good to scan anyway, but I don't think you'll have anything on the system other than if you've just got that rogue. Now, what I'd advise you to do is run malware bytes run scans with this Hitman Pro also so I'm going to quickly do a Hitman Pro scan and I clean that stuff off okay so that's now done I'm going to delete those now you may have other infections on the system so you need to make sure that you use other scans okay this system is now clean but you may still have other remnants on your system and for that you need to be doing other scans like TDSS killer to make sure no root kits have been dropped on the system these types of rogues do sometimes drop root kits not all but some do it's better be safe than sorry scan with that and also run malware bytes as well It's another good scan to do. Make sure you update with the latest definitions. And then run a quick scan on the system. Okay, you can see the actual scan's now finished. That's all cleaned up. Okay, you may need to unhide your system files if it has hidden them and this is the way to do it. It will be used in this program called Unhide and I will put the link in the description. You need to run that. Now if it doesn't work the first time, run it again and it should eventually unhide all your files and I mean in your uh, programs list here and everything else. Okay, and that will pre pretty much it. So I think that's about it for this video. We should be up and running. If you're still having problems, redirects and stuff like that, don't forget check your uh, proxy settings just to make sure that you've not got any proxies on the system and uh, make sure that says no proxy. And if you're still having issues, make sure you delete your host file and renew your host file. You've seen me do that in loads of my other videos, just check some of those. So I think that's about it for this video. 
My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support. Also rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support. Bye for now.